OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, recently launched a new web crawler called GPT-Bot, and they are also planning to release the next version of their AI model, GPT-5. As you already know, OpenAI has been at the forefront of the AI race with their most recent iteration, GPT-4, being the most powerful AI model ever. However, GPT-5 will take things to a whole new level, and some experts say that GPT-5 could potentially achieve Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. Today, we're going to talk about GPT-5 and see what it means for the AI landscape. But before that, welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest development, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. All right, let's get started. Now, before we dive into the details of GPT-5, let's first talk about GPT-Bot and what it does. GPT-Bot is an AI-powered web crawler developed by OpenAI, and it is designed to browse through the internet and collect text data from web pages on the internet. This text data plays an important role in enhancing the performance and capabilities of OpenAI's large language models, including GPT-4 and GPT-5. You probably didn't know this, but the main reason why ChatGPT is able to generate amazing content lies in the vast amount of text data the GPT bot gathered from the internet. This is somewhat similar to having a huge library of information that the models use to understand and respond to your queries. Just in case you were wondering how it decides on what web pages it explores and what to avoid, well, it's quite simple. The bot adheres to specific rules and guidelines to ensure that the data is both high quality and does not violate people's rights. Let me explain further. GPT Bot is designed to only explore web pages that anyone can access without having to go through a paywall or log in with a username and password. It intentionally stays away from pages that gather personal information such as people's names, addresses, or phone numbers. In addition, GPT Bot filters out content that would breach OpenAI's policies like content containing hate speech, violence, or pornography. Now, as a website owner, you might not want to share certain information on your website. So, how do you prevent GPT Bot from crawling to your website? Well, it's quite simple. All you have to do is simply insert a specific line of code into your robots.txt file on your website to prevent the bot from crawling to your website. This line would look like this. This command tells the bot not to access any page on your website. You can also tailor the code in such a way that the bot can access some parts of your site, but not all. For instance, this line of code tells GPT bot to explore only the blog pages of your website, but not the private pages. This bot is of huge importance in the AI community because it enables OpenAI to gather more data easily, allowing for the development and training of more advanced AI models. These models can perform tasks related to natural language processing, like generating text, translating between languages, summarizing long documents, answering complex questions, and a lot more. The advancement of AI technology depends on the valuable information gathered by GPT-Bot, leading us to the exciting potential of upcoming innovations like GPT-5. For months, we have been anticipating the release of GPT-5. This insane AI model is expected to be the next major AI model from OpenAI. At the moment, not too much information has been disclosed about the model, but some clues indicate that OpenAI is working on it, and they plan to release it soon. So what clues am I talking about? First off, in July, OpenAI filed a trademark application for GPT-5 with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, or USPTO. The application covers a wide range of software related to language models and AI. Though the application is still awaiting examination by the USPTO, there is a lot we can expect from GPT-5 in terms of capabilities and features. From what we've seen so far in terms of previous versions of GPT models, we can assume that GPT-5 will be a massive improvement over GPT-4 in terms of size, accuracy, and versatility. For instance, when it comes to size, 
GPT-4 consists of 175 billion parameters. This number is significantly larger compared to other language models out there. GPT-5, on the other hand, will have an even larger number of parameters, potentially reaching trillions. So what does this mean for us? Basically, this means that GPT-5 will be able to store more information and have a greater memory capacity than any human, making it an incredibly powerful tool. When it comes to accuracy, GPT-4 has already demonstrated remarkable performance in various natural language processing tasks and benchmarks. This covers areas like Natural Language Understanding or NLU, Natural Language Generation or NLG, Question Answering, and so much more. However, GPT-5 is expected to exceed all of this. It could potentially reach astronomical heights in terms of accuracy and fluency, producing text and speech that closely mimics human communication. Another area GPT-5 is expected to excel significantly is versatility. Currently, GPT-4 can manage multiple types of input and output, such as text, speech, images, and code. GPT-5, on the other hand, will take things further, expanding its multimodal capabilities. It could also synchronize with other third-party platforms and tools like social media platforms, search engines, and productivity tools. This enhancement would make GPT-5 more adaptable and useful across various applications and industries. Now, I know many of you are wondering when GPT-5 will finally be released. Well, to be honest, this question is very difficult to answer because OpenAI hasn't actually provided any official timeline of announcement concerning GPT-5's launch. However, we might be able to guess the time range based on the release pattern of previous models. GPT-3.5 was released to the public back in November of 2022, followed by GPT-4 in March 2023, which gives us around a four-month gap between the two models. If OpenAI decides to maintain this pattern, we might see GPT-5 very soon, possibly before the end of this year. However, this is only a prediction and you should not take it seriously. The AI landscape is constantly evolving and this could potentially speed up or delay the release of GPT-5. One of the most interesting mysteries about GPT-5 lies in the probability of it achieving artificial general intelligence or AGI. To understand this, we must first understand what AGI means. AGI is a theoretical concept of artificial intelligence that can learn and comprehend anything a human being can. Now, I don't want you to confuse this concept with what we have now, which is Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI. You see, ANI can only perform certain specific tasks or functions, just as ChatGPT can only generate text. AGI, on the other hand, represents a more advanced level of AI that isn't confined to certain functions only. There have been rumors suggesting that GPT-5 could reach AGI for the end of 2023. People are saying this because they believe GPT-5 will generate text and speech so lifelike that it will be impossible to tell apart from human conversation. They also think that it will respond to any question or prompt a human can handle. However, most experts believe that the idea of GPT-5 achieving AGI is far-fetched and too soon to predict. According to researchers, we are probably still many years away from AGI and that GPT-5 will face several obstacles and restrictions, particularly in generalization, reasoning, understanding, common sense, and ethical considerations. Now, the question you should be asking is what will happen if GPT-5 does actually reach AGI? Well, it's quite simple. First off, GPT-5 could potentially enhance productivity and creativity by speeding up the processes that use AI, thereby freeing humans from monotonous tasks. This could lead to advancements in several fields such as education, entertainment, and communication by offering tailored and engaging content and services. But it is not all good. As with everything that has benefits, GPT-5 also has its bad side. For instance, the AI could cause harm to human society and principles by spreading false information or engaging in manipulation. However, 
we can only hope that things eventually work out well in the end. Do you think GPT-5 is the next step in human evolution? Or will it be our biggest mistake? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.